The government has failed us. You can't deny that. Any time you live in the 20th century and you walking around here singing, we shall overcome, the government has failed. This is part of what's wrong with you. You do too much singing. Today, it's time to stop singing and start swinging. And I'm, I'm here to tell you, in case you don't know it, that you got a new, you got a new generation of black people in this country who don't care anything whatsoever about Oz. They don't want to hear you old Uncle Tom handkerchief heads talking about uh, the Oz. No. This is a new generation. If they're going to draft these young black men and send them over to Korea or South Vietnam to face 800 million Chinese, If you're not afraid of those odds, you shouldn't be afraid of these odds. And when I speak, I don't speak as a Democrat or a Republican, nor an American. I speak as a victim of America's so-called democracy. You and I have never seen democracy. All we've seen is hypocrisy. We don't see any American dream. We've experienced only the American nightmare. And the generation that's coming up now can see it. And I'm not afraid to say it. If, if you go to jail, so what? If you're black, you were born in jail. If you're black, you were born in jail in the North as well as the South. Stop talking about the South. Long as you south of the, long as you south of the Canadian border, you're South. This is why I say it's the ballot or the bullet. It's liberty or it's death. It's freedom for everybody or freedom for nobody. America today finds herself in a unique situation. Historically, revolutions are bloody. Oh, yes, they are. They have never had a bloodless revolution or a nonviolent revolution. That don't happen even in Hollywood. You don't have a revolution in which you love your enemy. And you don't have a revolution in which you're begging the system of exploitation to integrate you into it. Revolutions overturn systems. Revolutions destroy systems. A revolution is bloody. But America is in a unique position. She's the only country in history in a position actually to become involved in a bloodless revolution. All she's got to do is give the black man in this country everything that's doing. Everything. I hope that the white man can see this. Because if you don't see it, you're finished. If you don't see it, you're going to become in, you're going to become involved in some action in which you don't have a chance. We don't care anything about your atomic bomb, it's it's useless because other countries have atomic bombs. When two or three different countries have atomic bombs, nobody can use it. So it means that the white man today is without a weapon. If, you're gonna, if you want some action, you gotta come on down to Earth. And there's more black people on Earth than there are white people. It'll be the ballot, or it'll be
be the vote. It'll be liberty or it'll be death. And if you're not ready to pay that price, don't use the word freedom in your vocabulary.